What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel in another video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode. So in today's video, we are gonna be doing some mods to my Shelby GT350 right here. I'm gonna show you guys those in just a second, but I really wanted to make this video because these are a couple products that I'm gonna be adding to the Ashton Performance website, and I figured why not add them to my personal vehicle and show them off that way and get some really cool product photos and things like that. So I thought you guys might enjoy this style of video. Let me know in the comments if this is something you guys enjoy. It's still a modification video. And I'll show you what we've got right now. First, we've got a set of GT350 hood struts. I'm gonna be carrying these in uh, the GT350 engraving and then just standard normal ones that you could use on your GT as well. But I feel like this is a must-have modification for any really S550 Mustang or GT350 because that standard hood prop is just simply not good enough. And it's really annoying if you've ever popped your hood having to deal with that versus just being able to lift the hood up and not have to worry about that. So we've got these hood struts right here that we're gonna install today and we've got some other good stuff as well. Next, we've got a set of GT350 floor mats with the GT350 logo embossed right in the middle there. And the nicest thing about these is it's a much nicer material, the floor mats itself. So it's a much more plush carpet and the engraving is really nice. These are all officially licensed products as well. So very high quality stuff that I wanted to mention as well. You'll see these in the car, they just, pop right in obviously, but I figured I'd just show them off anyway in the video. Next, we've got a GT350 trunk liner with the GT350 badge uh, embedded right in the middle of that as well. This has a really, really clean appearance and looks really nice. So we're gonna get all this stuff installed on there today. All this stuff is really, really quick. Uh, the hood struts will be the kind of most in-depth thing, but it's still super easy to install those. Uh, so we're gonna get those installed today, but I also wanted to mention for a future video, uh, this week we've got a MGW short shifter that we're gonna be installing on the car that I cannot wait to get on there. And it's gonna completely transform the way this shifts and it already shifts amazing. So that's one video for you guys to look forward to that's coming up as well. Uh, besides that, I did attempt to record a track video this past Friday that you'll find more about. Uh, you'll find out more about that on probably like Thursday or Friday. You'll see more on that. And then we've also got some road course stuff planned very soon. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted on all that good stuff. But for now, let's jump right into this. Okay, so to start this stuff out, we are gonna do all the easy stuff. We're gonna do the floor mats first, since that's super simple. We'll do the plate frame and all that good stuff too before the hood struts. So these, obviously you just pull out the factory floor mat, which has no logoing, got some dog hair on them. And then we're gonna pop the new ones in place. But what a difference that makes in my opinion, and you can already tell the quality difference on those floor mats. I don't know if you can tell, but that's like a much deeper black too that really, really pops. Driver side, and here's a little comparison to show you between the two. I've got dog hair all over these. I don't let my dog in my car, but it still tracks into the car, so you can see the difference in the material itself. If you look really close, just ignore all that nasty dog hair. <laughs> I would not have considered doing floor mats until I did them on my GT and I noticed how big of a difference that they actually make to the quality of the interior of the car. You wouldn't think it would be that big of a difference, but that material is so much nicer and it looks a lot more premium and it feels a lot more premium too. I don't know about you guys, but I think this just really sets off the interior of the car having those floor mats in there. Let me know your thoughts on these because I think they look great. Uh, we'll throw some quick shots of them in real quick right now. Okay, so now we got the dealer plate frame off the car and we're gonna be putting the metal GT351 on there, which looks a lot better. One other thing that I wanna mention that if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this already. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to do that right now or after this video uh, because I'm blocking this. Um, I did mention this on Instagram that I already got a new tag for this car. So this is gonna be no longer my active tag in a very short period of time. I picked up the tag Voodoo, V-U-D-U, uh, 8K, so Voodoo for the engine that's in the car, and then 8K since this thing revs to over 8K. So pretty cool tag in my opinion, and you guys helped me pick that out on Instagram too. I got your uh, confirmation that that was good to go and a good choice. So let's get this on the car. So 
So man, what a subtle difference that makes. So much better than having a dealer plate frame on there. I was aching to get that thing off there, but I didn't want to have no plate frame at all. So really clean appearance on that. Next, we're gonna go to the trunk liner. Oh my gosh, what could this thing be? Oh my, let me put this in my trunk. Is this somebody's head inside here? I, I have no idea what's in there, you guys. So next for the trunk liner, we've just got all these plastic little push pins that we gotta pop out with a trim tool and then these little rubber pieces should just twist right out very easily. So we'll get that done real quick. Okay, I told you guys this stuff was gonna be quick and easy. Uh, between the liner, the plate frame, and the floor mats, really quick stuff. The last thing we have is the hood struts. And I mean, between all this good stuff, I mean, we're looking at at least 100 horsepower to the crank. I know it's not wheel horsepower, but we're looking at some hefty gains on the dyno. Uh, I do need to take this thing to the dyno, speaking of. I wanna get a baseline on this car before we start getting into a little bit more modifications on this because uh, I told you we have the MGW shifter coming earlier, but uh, we are going to be tuning this thing out and uh, probably adding, uh, should I give it away, probably adding some long tubes. I think we should add some long tubes and the rest of that Corsa cat back. I don't mind giving this stuff away now. Uh, and then maybe an intake as well, and then we'll do some tuning. So I'm thinking we should get a baseline on this car, but I want to make sure that we go to the same dyno uh, whatever route I choose to go. So I think it should be the same dyno before and after to get the best results. Um, best comparison between stock and modded. So I'm excited to see what this thing will put down in stock form and then also in modded form as well. Not that it really needs the additional power to go to the track, uh, but I really cannot wait to road course this car. Uh, next month is when that's happening. So I'm giving that away as well. you guys so we are in the gt350 right now unfortunately i couldn't finish the hood strut install at the warehouse because i took my whole saw kit to my house because i had something that i needed it for i don't even remember what uh, but you do need that to drill into the little uh plastic battery cover uh, for a place for the passenger side hood strut to go through so we're going to finish this install up over at the house but um, while we're in here, I figured I'd talk a little bit more about the product since I did mention these are things that are going to be on the site. I, I still would be interested to hear your thoughts on these specific modifications and what, what you think. I know there a lot of this stuff has the GT350 logoing and stuff like that. I really like the floor mats though, the quality on those. Um, but you'll have to let me know your thoughts on all this stuff. Besides that, I figured why not update you guys on a few more things that's gonna be going on at the same time very soon. So you're gonna find out more about the track stuff that I mentioned earlier. And basically what happened on Friday was it started raining and we were already, we swapped the drag radials over to the GT350 and couldn't make it out there because I was not taking a chance of driving on drag radials in the rain. Besides that, they ended up canceling uh, the event, it got rained out over at the track, so it ended up working out really good that I didn't continue to drive or stop and like go back. So I swapped my uh, wheels back on the car, my factory GT350 wheels, uh, but I don't know, maybe next time at this, I, I won't even bother swapping the drag radials over. I just wanted to be a little bit extra cautious and make sure I had traction there. I'm not sure what the prep is gonna be like down there at Orlando Speed World, so I just swapped the drag radials on just in case. But um, other than that, uh, I might go back this Wednesday is what I want to try to do and I know this isn't a drag car I mentioned this in the other video that you guys will see probably later this week, but um, We also have set up for an autocross event next month the day that we get back from uh, uh, SEMA so November 11th is the first road course event with this car. I cannot wait to do that it's gonna be so much fun and I cannot wait, simple as that. So I wanted to at least keep you guys posted on what was going on with that because I know a lot of people want to see some track videos. We're signed up for that, we're pre-registered, and then we're also trying to get it to the drag strip as well. So if there was more road course events like this month or something like that, I would do it. But really, there's not that much stuff you know, always going on. For even autocross events, I couldn't even find anything for this month. So if anybody in the Orlando area knows about stuff that I don't know about, be sure to hit me up because I'm down to do that. Um, but 
Uh, anyways, we're gonna grab some food real quick at some uh, Chipotle, aka Chipotle, and uh, then we will check back in at the house. So we have made it back to the house here and we have the hood popped on the GT350. I think this is the very first time I've showed you the engine on this car. I know I haven't popped the hood very much on this thing other than to check the oil a few times. Uh, that's a whole nother story. But uh, I did start the install on the hood struts already and I'll show you some of the finer details in a second. But the instructions are pretty good and it's a really simple installation overall. So I attached one bracket down here one bracket up here to the hood hinge mount point right there and then i attached, attached uh another one over to this side as well hopefully we can see that uh but i'm going to show you the other bracket right here this is probably just something that is good to know if you don't have these yet um, but basically all you do is drop this into the little slot here and then Move it around, move it around the right direction, and then you just tighten that. So it just fits in there, and the little piece on the other side, the other little uh, bracket piece, tightens up to the other side on the inside of the body, and all you have to do from that point is just attach the hood strut. Now, one other thing that you have to do on the driver's side is remove the battery cover, which I have right here, and you have to use a hole saw to drill a little hole so that the hood strut can go through that so i'm going to do that portion now and uh tighten that bracket up over there as well and then i'll show you guys the final result and we're all finished up now so that wasn't too bad at all got the hood struts working and what i'm likely going to do is remove the hood prop um there's just one bolt right here and then you can just remove it i did that on my uh uh, GT so I'm probably gonna do it on this car too since there's really no use for it now unless these broke But they're not gonna break because they're really high quality and it would take years for something like this to wear out So anyways, this is the final result. They have the uh, GT350 engraving on the sides That goes really nicely with the car. So kind of the same pattern as the emblems here Nice look to them and then on this side I have to do a little bit of adjustments uh, so this was a one and a quarter inch hole saw that I drilled right here. Uh, I need to make that hole a little bit bigger. I would probably recommend going just slightly bigger. It's a really, really tight fit with the one and a quarter inch. So I'm going to go a little bit bigger because I couldn't fit this last uh, push pin in on this side. But again, really clean look overall. I'll probably mess with that like tomorrow or something like that. So all in all, really happy with the end result on the hood struts. Who wouldn't be? They're convenient, they're functional, and it's a lot better than having that hood prop. So I recommend it for anybody with a Mustang, uh, whether you purchase it for me or somebody else. I hope you guys purchase it for me because we're carrying a lot of Mustang parts on the Ashton Performance website. If you guys haven't checked the site out, please do so. Give me your feedback on it. I would really appreciate it. It definitely means a lot. And again, I am carrying all the stuff that I had in this video and we have a whole bunch of other parts as well. So any help that you guys need on this type of stuff, be sure to hit me up. I have a contact us uh, form on the page as well. So I'd be more than happy to help you with your build and be a part of that. Anyways, I am gonna shoot for the track again this week, hopefully Wednesday. If not, I'm gonna try again Friday, but the weather and then kind of timing everything is gonna be the hold up there. So I'm really crossing my fingers that we can get out there and at least get a couple passes in and see what it does. Uh, but other than that, there is gonna be some exciting news coming to the channel, hopefully within the next month or two, uh, some big news that you guys will be excited about. So uh, I will keep you posted on that as well. Got a bunch of stuff coming down. So anyways, you guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.